five, four, three, two, one, zero. Engine to the power and lift off. Go Piper, go Falcon. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. In just a few seconds, we'll throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q, a period of maximum period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is a critical moment during flight because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure Falcon are at their Falcon 9 greatest. is supersonic. To help go from vertical to horizontal, the first stage performs a pitch kick just after liftoff. About 10 seconds into flight, which is a maneuver known as a Max Q. There you heard Max Q. The engines gimbal a small amount, and that slowly turns the first stage from going straight up to going horizontal with the help of gravity, and eventually we will be roughly horizontal to Earth as we achieve orbit. Impact chill has started. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. You can keep an eye on the first stage telemetry at the bottom of your screen. Now we have several events coming up in quick su succession, and we should hear all of them called out by mission control, starting with main engine cutoff, or MECO, then second stage separation, and SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO is where we shut off no, all trajectory. nine M1D engines on the first stage. Stage separation is where the first and second stages of Falcon 9 separate from one another. And second engine start 1, or SES-1, is when we light the MBAC engine on the second stage for the first time.